God of War Ragnarok's New Game Plus update has brought us the Zeus armor, just like the previous God of War game. And once again, like it or not, this is still one of the best armor sets you can obtain in Ragnarok, so real quick, I'll show you how to get the Zeus armor and also how to use it. It may be arguable whether or not this is the best armor, as there are a ton of different armor sets in the game now, and New Game Plus only increased that, giving us the Black Bear Cloak and the Ares armor, which are both awesome as well. But the Zeus armor, if used right, can be super strong. I'm just not sure if I prefer it over something like the Brazil. Zerker armor though. I'll be testing it out to see what build ends up sticking, but no matter what, this is still a very strong set of armor. If you saw one of my other builds though, I'll link it to this video, but I have yet to figure out a build with the Zeus armor that can compete with that. That build is just really tough to beat. So first off, the War Belt of Zeus and the Gauntlets of Zeus that you'll need for the full set are both found at specific remnants of Asgard locations, meaning that you'll have to be at endgame having completed the story on a new game plus save. Starting off with the Gauntlets, you'll find them over in Alfheim, like I said, at the Remnants of Asgard location on the map in the Barrens. So yeah, I believe you will also need to have completed the Secret of the Sands favor, as pretty much everything here is covered in a sandstorm, at least until that favor is finished. But after you have completed that, feel free to take out the Asgard Remnants, and you'll find the Gauntlets of Zeus in the nearby chest. If you check out the Gauntlets, you'll see that they have the Divine Edge perk, which for the Gauntlets means that you deal 20% more damage with melee and runic attacks, but also take an increased 40% damage. On top of that, it is stackable with the perks from both of the other armor pieces as well. The War Belt of Zeus is a bit easier to grab, as you don't really need anything crazy first, you can just head over to Vanaheim's Eastern Berry Woods, where you will encounter yet another Remnants of Asgard location, and if you finish all of those guys off, you'll find the Waste Armor in the chest, which will grant an additional 20% melee damage, and again, stacks an additional 40% of damage that Kratos will also receive and just like the gauntlets combines with those other pieces of armor. The chest piece, which you're probably most excited to get your hands on, isn't able to be obtained until endgame as well, since it does require you to beat the Valkyrie Queen, Na, also on a New Game Plus save. If you defeat her, you will be rewarded with the Curus of Zeus. The chest piece is pretty wild because it stacks an extra 40% damage dealt by Kratos, but is also going to stack on a whopping 100% damage received on top of all of that. So wearing all three pieces of the Zeus armor is going to bring up your runic and melee damage by 80%, but you'll receive 180% more damage when Kratos gets hit. So yeah, if you're wearing this armor, just don't get hit. But that's sort of the goal anyway, especially if you're playing at a higher difficulty like Give Me God of War. Like I said, I have yet to figure out a build with the Zeus armor that competes with something like the Berserker build that I posted a couple of months back, but with the additions to all of the new enchantments and engravings, I'm sure there's something out there though and I'll post a Zeus build, or at least the best one that I can get going soon. Let me know what you guys think of this armor down in the comments and how it compares to some of the others. See ya.